Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and this week we're going to be talking about then and now. How I used to do my makeup and how I do it now and what the differences are and it basically came from, um, you know those really annoying Facebook things that pop up and say, thought you'd like to see this picture of you from a hundred years ago. Um, and mine kept popping up and the makeup I used to do before I learned anything was really not very good at all. So I decided that I would do a video about comparing how I used to do it with how I do it now. And in exciting news, um, Make Me Up Missa, who I talk about all the time, who you know, um, my absolute favourite um, inspirational YouTube makeup um, icon and goddess um, did this. I cannot tell you how beyond excited and thrilled I was. Um, I've been a supporter of hers for a few years now and I try, I try, I think I have watched every single video she's ever made. Yeah, I think I can say that safely. I'm not, I don't know if I've watched all her collabs, but I've watched every single video she's ever made um, since I started watching. And for her to do that, just, oh my God, I, did, I nearly exploded. Let's just put it like that. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you a few of the attempts at makeup that I used to do before I was ill. Um, I'm going to put a picture here of the Daily Mail article which talks about how I watched YouTube to learn my makeup skills. Um, basically I watched YouTube to hone my makeup skills. Um, because I thought I was fabulous, but clearly I wasn't. And I'm just going to put up a few, let me put the timer on, there we are. I'll put up a few pictures so that you can see the sorts of things that I used to do. And basically they were all, pretty much all, um, purple and pink over the last few years. I mean, obviously back in the day, there was a lot of black and white going on, um, a lot of like traditional goth face going on, but um, I haven't really got that many pictures of that um, because of course it was um, back in the mists of time where there was no camera phones, there was um, very rare occasions when people actually had cameras with them. Um, yeah, so I'm putting up the ones that I can find um, that st I think they come from about the last maybe something in the region of 15 to 20 years something like that I don't know anyway um, they'll give you an idea of how I used to throw my makeup on with a spade um, and then I'll put up another few to give you a chance to compare with the sort of things that I've learnt and the sort of styles that I like to go with um, now. I hope you enjoy it. Please keep watching. Right, we're going to do both eyes at the same time. Of course, back in the day, I didn't know anything about um, contour or um, highlighting obviously I'd heard a blush before but um, contour and highlighting not really a thing for me um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by I've got the picture down here um, and I'll put it up on screen occasionally so I'm gonna start off with a bit of white eyeliner which I certainly wouldn't have used back then but I think just now and again it really makes a big difference and when you put black eyeliner along the top 
it doesn't interfere with the white eyeliner on the bottom. There we go. And I use basically um, three, yeah, three colours before. That was all. Um, I will be using my beloved Tahiti palette. It's like a dream, a dream of colour. There it is. How lovely. And I'm going to start off with... Um, blackberry and just put that oh I've been using um, cut crease canvas to prime my eyes with of course back then I didn't use anything at all I just put eyeshadow straight onto my skin so we'll put the blackberry there let's move the mirror a bit nearer there we go and a little bit underneath and I'm just checking on the picture yep I mean it's almost the same colour as I had back then goodness only knows what I used and then taking a clean brush to blend the edges and the trusty tea towel on my lap. I'm going to take a little tiny brush. I don't know what it... No, it hasn't got a name. And I'm just going to go in and make it a little bit darker. These colours in this Love Tahiti palette just they're so beautiful. I also have a makeup brush colour sweeper which I bought in my local Sabres for a pound. I think you can get them in Primark and various places but they're very good just for obviously you've got to wash your brushes as well but in a situation like this where you want to use the same brush but not with too much of the previous colour on it, ideal. So we go back to the Tahiti palette. I look at the picture and I think it's something in the region of Bloom. Yeah. It's definitely... No, not Bloom, Grape. I tell a lie. So, we'll just do it like this. Just to get the colour on. And again, I'll take the little small brush. And I might use Magenta, actually, and put it there. And then again take my blending brush another clean brush and I'm going to take the small brush again into the grape and mix it with a bit of twilight And that's basically to give more of an idea of what I did before. I think I'll take a little bit of Pink Lily because there was quite a lot of pink in the other picture. So Then what I might do is I've got my... Um, What's it called? Unique Beauty um, Status Quo palette here. 
I might just take a little bit of this very pale colour and just put it up around the edges. So there's that. Um, the next part is the sort of white and glittery part. So the trusted it goes everywhere. Revolution Crushed Pearl Pigment in Saint. My little, where's my little brush? There's my little brush. And some primer, primer water. And what I do is just put a little bit in the lid. I've put the Crushed pearl pigments, put some in the lid here. Just wet the brush, pop it in the pigment, and then brush it on. So, apart from lashes and everything, that would probably be and eyebrows which I used to have of course which I don't anymore um, that would probably be about the size of it but of course we're not going to let that happen we're going to take some NYX vinyl liquid liner and start zhuzhing it up a bit so This is a very good liner, I have to say. Very, very good liner. Of course, I have to hold my breath when I'm doing it, but I'm sure everybody does that. I like, I, even back then, I used to like to do um, the sort of typical gothy, pointy bit, but these days I can make it a bit bigger, make it a bit more fancy. because I think I just used to do it with um, a coal pencil, so not so easy to get such a fine point, which is probably what I'm gonna bollocks up now, so stand by. Good thing we've got this fast forward thing on the editing. And instead of eyebrows, I have wings. And to all new watchers and viewers, if you've got hooded eyes, here's the tip. You don't take it all the way across in a single line because if you do that, it will end up wonky. You just collapse it down. So it looks like this. My symmetrical efforts are getting slightly better, I think. So there's the wings. And the other thing I was gonna say that I didn't do then, but that I do now sometimes, is put in extra bits so might put a bit here might put a bit here and I've got very handy wrinkles to help hold the eyeliner in place um, one thing that I never did back then and that I am very happy I learned how to do is where's it gone there it is, no it isn't, is these um, pigments that you mix with mixing liquid in order to make lines that can be drawn quite accurately. So I've used this colour before 
it's the Helen E pigment gorgeous colour and I'm just mixing it with a bit of Mayron mixing liquid in my little metallic tray because obviously you have to have something to mix them in when did I get this? I think I got it with a Revolution product and um, hung on to it thinking oh that will be useful and it was so then we um, take a small brush There's our nose stripe in purple. I'll put one under here actually. I'm determined to make nose stripes a thing, and obviously now Miss has done it. Everybody's going to do it. Hurrah! Um, there is another thing. <laughs> And here's another thing that I never had access to before, um, and that is these glitter flakes. Now I'm going to put a just a tiny bit, of, just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit on my lid, and these are the pastel roses um, loose eyeshadow pigment. Is their official name? but glittery flakes that look like fish food is what I call them and I take a little bit of my Barry M glitter glue just put it here get some on the brush attempt to get it on my eyelid and not in the air. They just, they have a negative weight, do you know what I mean? It's just like, up in the air they go. So let's try the other eye. We go like this. Put some in the middle, like that, and then get some on a flat brush. I mean, they're just the most beautiful things ever. If I didn't know better, I'd think they were made of crushed up fairies. But you can probably see them swirling around. Right, mascara today, I am trying this new Lift and Define 5D Lash by Revolution. Um, I think it's all right. I mean, it's, it's good for lower lash line, actually, is where I found it very good. I've been trying it all this week, and it is very good sort of defining the lower lash line but with my microscopic lashes it's I mean it's all right if you've got good long lashes in the first place it's um, it's pretty good but I still don't think it's as good as um, my lash princess by essence. Just for a horrible moment then I thought I'd been out of frame the entire video, but I don't think I have. Actually, let's do a comparison. This is the 5D eye, 5D. And this is going to be the Lash Princess eye. Yeah, different, different, um, different things really. This is a lot um, thicker. The Lash Princess is a lot thicker, I think. Um, 
so there's that eye um, and the 5D it's supposed to be um, more of a lengthening one I think as far as I'm aware hmm difficult to tell really um, it's pretty nice and it's on special offer at Superdrug at the moment so if you do want to try it out now's a good time to do it um, I will just go and put some lashes on um, I'll get the lipstick that I'm going to use because that also is new and we'll um, come back and finish off so two minutes while I go and put my lashes on so lashes are on that's another thing I never used to know how to do back then was false lashes and um, now I don't know what I would do without them. So for lips we're going for a new brand for me it's called Jolie Beauty or Jolie Beauty, Jolie Beauty. Um, I was told about this brand by my dear friend Rachel who you may know from Enigma Reviews um, channel. She does a, a lot of reviews of makeup, fashion, accessories, things like that. So have a look at Enigma Reviews and she told me that Jolie Beauty Air Matte Liquid Lipsticks were on sale at half price. So I rushed to my computer and ordered this really nice dark purple one called Enchant and I also ordered a dark blue one because I had a dark blue one by Nip and Fab which every time I wore it it made my teeth go blue which was not really the look I was going for so it's very light this it's called air matte and it is very very light I tried it in the week and it did last ever such a long time. This one is really to take the place of my um, KVD dark purple one. There we go. Um, I really like these. Um, as I say, normally I think they're £11 and at when I just got these two last this week they were down to 550 so good deal I stuck a beauty spot on there um, inspired by Mamie Hades and her lovely beauty spot if you've never heard of Mamie Hades she's like a the quintessential 19 year old perfect goth girl look her up she's beautiful and she has a big beauty spot but not made out of a gem so I hope you've enjoyed this video it's been great fun to make um, really interesting for me to look back at how I used to do my makeup how I've learned so much um, from all the YouTube people that I've watched um, everybody from Soph and uh, Dramatic Mac um, to Jeffrey S. We don't say his name, I don't think, anymore. Um, all these different people and of course Missa who has taught me what blending is all about and the day that I can blend like she does I will be a very happy person. So please give this video a big thumbs up whether you enjoyed it or not just just for me please um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already that would be lovely take care of yourselves be kind to each other and of course you stay strange bye for now everybody